Welcome back to another daily drop here on TarHeelIllustrated.com. Or if you're checking us out on our YouTube channel, that's Tar Heel Illustrated. I'm THI publisher Andrew Jones, rolling solo once again with you here on this drop. Quick reminder, this show is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy, the easiest place to play fantasy sports. We'll have a little bit more on them for you later on in the show. Today's topic, App State. This weekend for North Carolina, easy motivation. Yesterday's drop was about stacking wins, stacking performances. It shouldn't be very difficult for the coaching staff to get the team's attention for this week's opponent. Not everyone would take App State seriously, especially coming off a big win, because they may not understand the quality of the program, the history of the program, but North Carolina does. How could they not? Mountaineers came into Chapel Hill and beat them a few years ago. Last year, the Mountaineers lost 63-61 in Boone, 40 points, 18 first downs, more than 300 yards in the fourth quarter. If they don't have North Carolina's attention, then shame on North Carolina, regardless of what kind of performance the Tar Heels are coming off of. So, in addition to yesterday's drop, stacking wins, it should be. Be an easy sales pitch for the coaching staff. And I got the impression Monday in talking with Mac Brown, with Gene Chizik, and also with us, with some of the players, how they're thinking, how they view this game, that there is plenty of natural, inherent fuel for them heading into this game. In fact, when I was walking by the locker room heading to the post-game press conference Saturday night in Charlotte, the Tar Heels were coming in. They were going right into the locker room. Cedric Gray comes that through the tunnel, and he's screaming about it. They said, we can't play defense. They said, we aren't any good at defense. They, we can't play defense. So there were a few expletives in there, which made it even cooler to see and see that kind of emotion coming from him. But where did that come from? It came from the game in Boone last year. These guys were humiliated. A couple of us in the media were talking Monday afternoon about Max post game press conference there. It was at some folding table. It wasn't a great setup at at App and yeah, they won the game. He was happy for a win, but you could tell he was incredibly concerned. And while the defense wasn't that bad ever again last season, it hung. It hung with them. And it created a narrative that needed changing. And they still weren't very good otherwise. They they did get better as the season went on, but there were enough suspect performances and the stat rankings were so bad. And it wasn't just that game that it's something that has haunted this team and carried with this, this team, carried over this team since then. It's something the guys talked about throughout August. Cedric Gray was talking about it in July at the ACC kickoff in Charlotte. This is the game that triggered it. 40 points in a quarter. That's historic. That generated all kinds of attention last year. Similar in reverse how Saturday night, 16 TFLs, nine sacks, minus two rushing yards against South Carolina also generated a lot of attention. So if you stack that performance, it began Sunday night by getting rid of that game and beginning to think about App State. I'm going to get more into this and how they can do that, and again, what qualifies as a stacked performance, because that's the theme of the week, guys. If you're on THI this week, that's the theme I'm pushing all week long, because that's what they're pushing in the Keenan Football Center. But before I continue, let's go ahead and hear a word from our sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. I'm very excited to announce our new partnership with Underdog Fantasy. We decided to partner with Underdog because it's the easiest place to play fantasy sports and is also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Now, Underdog Fantasy has a lot to offer, including their Pick'em game. And in Pick'em, you pick whether your favorite players will have a higher or lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. It's so easy to play. Just pick two to five stats of your favorite players and choose whether they'll go higher or lower. You can 20x your money by going five for five. They also have a best ball mania. If you think you know football, Definitely need to check this one out. This year's Best Ball Mania has 15 million in total prizes up for grabs, with the winner taking home $3 million. 
$100. So sign up today with promo code HEAL and get your first deposit doubled by up to $100. Visit underdogfantasy.com or find them in the app store. And don't forget to register with promo code HEAL, H-E-E-L, to get your first deposit doubled up to $100. Dollars. You must be 18 plus and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates. Terms do apply. And if you are concerned with your play, call 1-800-522-4700 or visit www.ncpgambling.org. Back to the show. All right. So the Tar Heels have a chance to somewhat rectify what happened last year. It's not on the grand scale, but I will use this example. UVA in 2018 becomes the first one seed to lose to a 16 when they lost to UMBC humiliated. They came back next year, had fuel by that and they were able to rectify it and they won a national title. Now that's not on the line this weekend, but I do think the Tar Heels can rectify what happened a year ago by slamming the door on the Mountaineers this weekend. And I think that will be the mission, not just win, They want to slam the door on this team. And I think it's important that they do that as they continue to shed prior skin as they did somewhat Saturday night in Charlotte. This is the next step. They have to get after this team. They have to be very aggressive. They have to make a statement early that whatever happened in Boone last year is not going to happen again this year in Chapel Hill. They have to make it personal without sacrificing discipline. They have to make every snap matter like the stopped two-point conversion in Boone last year, which, by the way, number 25 was in on that play like he was so often this past Saturday night. That's Cayman Rucker. The next step in changing the narrative about this defense is to scale this hurdle this weekend. And don't think for a moment that App State won't come in supremely confident thinking that they can move the ball in the Tar Heels and that they know if they could get the, into the end zone early, they can knock Carolina back on its heels, no pun intended. Because psychology is a big-time thing in sports. Human nature finds itself out on the playing fields and the playing courts and the ice, whatever the sport is, all the time. So there's a lot of psychological stuff going into this game. Does Carolina slam the door early, make it personal, and let out? No, uh-uh, not happening. Last year was a fluke. It's a one-off, not happening again. Or does App send a message to Carolina and stress them, get them tight? It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But Carolina, in terms of stacking the performance, which I'm going to keep talking about all week long, they need to make this personal. There's plenty of motivation for North Carolina to back up a terrific performance with another performance. How will the Tar Heels do? It's going to be interesting to see. And that's one of the great things about doing this for a living is you just don't know. Each week is a new chapter in the book of the 2023 season. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this chapter says, especially with respect to this aspect of the game. If you think the Tar Heels are going to take another step in changing that narrative and stack the win and make this personal against App State and get an emphatic performance, go ahead and click like on this video. Also, share it with your Carolina friends. Make sure they know we're here. We got a lot of stuff for you guys from recruiting to stuff about the basketball heels, the football heels. We got an RJ Davis podcast. We're rolling out this week in our look ahead series with basketball, which is just a few weeks away when the Tar Heels start practicing. We never take time off. We constantly roll stuff out for you guys to feed, to feed your passion, which is the Tar Heels. And make sure you go to our site, tarheelillustrate.com for just $8.33 a month. You can be a Tar Heel insider too. We'll see you tomorrow.